Welcome friends. In our previous tutorial, we have downloaded the iPhone SDK and installed it on our Mac. Now in this tutorial, we will start working with that. First of all, let's go to our finder. And here you will find all these folders, applications, developer, library, systems and users. If your screen is not like this and you are not exploring the Macintosh hard drive of yours, go to Finder, select Preferences. From here, you can select this Hard Disks. And then your Finder will be as mine. Now, Xcode is installed in this Developer and Applications. Here it is. Open this one and you will see a little icon of Xcode. So this is Xcode and here there are some options like create a new Xcode project which says start a new software project for Mac OS X or iPhone OS. There is also a getting started with Xcode guide and Apple developer connection. We will select create a new project. It will open up this window. Now make sure your iPhone OS is selected. Underneath your application is selected. There are several options of creating iPhone applications. From which we will select this view based application. And click on choose. It will ask us for the location and we will let it be in the documents and we will save the name as hello world and click on save it will take some time and create our new project as you can see this is our hello world project where our enormous files are here a great number of folders and other type of files and icons are located here but right now we don't have to worry about all that this is automatically created project files by Xcode all we need to do is go to this resources here you'll find these files which is hello world view controller dot xib main window dot xib and etc now we'll open up this Hello world view controller dot xib and it will open up the interface builder right now I will just open this up and show you what this does as you can see here is a lot of options all these elements objects are given to be inserted in your iPhone application like menu menu item sub menu item etc here you can say show font toolbar and print toolbar item and a lot so in your applications you can use this uh, according to your application needs here you see the attribute list which will then when you put this in your application it will show all the attributes related to this specific object so this was a very quick tutorial upon getting started with iPhone development. In our next tutorial, we will write the Hello World program. Thank you.